Welcome Aquarius to your love reading for November 17th to the 18th of 2018. So let's uh, look into your energy. So the overall energy for the weekend between you and your love interest or partner for Aquarius. November 17th, 18th. So the Ace of Wands is often mutual attraction, new love, um, a spark or something creative that you want to act on. So it's like an impulse that you might be feeling. So a sexual desire, um, but it doesn't often mean that you're going to do it. But it's something that you might, um, something that comes out of the blue in an action that you might feel like you want to take with somebody. So uh, definitely a newer person, maybe, maybe a fire sign, just depends. Person coming towards you for Aquarius and love. Person coming towards you. So the Wheel of Fortune, if they are coming towards you, um, it seems like there are positive vibes in whichever way. They might be making changes in order to uh, reflect and kind of allow you to see that both of you might be meant to be or meant to experience a relationship together. And some of you, there's a, a karmic um, connection with someone. Now, sometimes I see this like a past energy of someone. Mercury is in retrograde. So when these combinations come out, it can mean that there might be reconciling with someone from your past and there might be um, a positive vibe that might be there where they do good by you, where they're not really hasty or angry or hostile um, previously like they were before. So we're looking to this a bit further though. Whoever you might be dealing with, there might be some kind of a uh, fortunate connection or karmic kind of thing going on. So the uh, response from you for Aquarius response from Aquarius number 17 to 18. Response from Aquarius. The Page of Cups. So you, that's nice. So synchronicities, um, parties, gatherings, offering somebody to hang out to um, so that you two can reciprocate. Now, this is like a child, the birth of a child, or I'm um, having that chemistry. So just being a bit more playful. You know, opening up, trying to be expressive and to hang out and have fun. So there could be children involved as well. And there could also be, again, um, a lot of synchronicities between two people. Often when I see this, it's like a soulmate bond that's very young. It's in its infancy, but it can uh, mature over time. So um, keep that in, um, in mind, all right? So it seems like you might be offering or you might accept an offer for somebody when it comes to a new relationship or something slow um, or young. Now, what might your um, obstacles be between both of you? So, money, all right. Um, the page, I meant the um, Ace of Pentacles, is showing up as opportunities to uh, receive money to um, act on any kind of gift that you might have. You might have a gift that you might um, feel like you want to put out into the world or something that you want to just create. And I feel like you have some really good cards. Oof. The best uh, reading so far from anybody, and I feel like the Ace of Pentacles is coming through, of um, maybe a party that you might throw, a gathering that you might have, and you might run into somebody, either new or somebody that you already know, but there's a vibe of um, meshing well together in some way, right? So obstacles might be money. You might not have everything that you would like to connect to somebody. So it could be a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, then you have fire sign showing up. Um, now, pregnancy might be there as well. All right. So, what is the outcome for the weekend for Aquarius, November 17th, 18th? Then you have uh, the Four of Swords, and that is uh, resting. All right. So, there might be some things that you might do, and even if you aren't doing a whole lot. Um, now, and again, the Page of Cups is the energy of um, singing, artistry, dancing, going to. Um, dance recitals um, whatever it might be something creative that you might uh, entertain um, also another person but often doing those things or thinking about these things in the four swords shows up as you going back to reflect and recharge and kind of replenish your energy as you think about what's been going on or this attraction that you have to this person and whether or not to take it to a new level all right um and let's clarify the uh, four of swords four of Aquarius. And we have the, um, so when a fool is showing up, that's another great card. So it's almost like a, a risk or a leap of faith or a risk or a leap of faith. But it's like you, a lot of you are having to let go and start anew. And I feel like that's what Venus in retrograde did. Mercury in retrograde is still doing uh, to allow a lot of you where you have made some decisions to start something new or to be open to someone is taking a leap of faith to try you know try something out if you have an attraction to somebody it's communicating with them taking that offer 
um, being spontaneous and seeing what happens with the connection and you have some beautiful things showing up so I feel like that's a really good thing to see all right so let's see for Aquarius November 17th to the 18th 2018 Aquarius and love so we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life. And that just came through the Ace of Pentacles. And um, various another 17th, 18th, 2018. And we have a let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Um, sometimes you might feel like the person that you're attracted to or that's uh, attracted to you might force things at times. And some of you might feel a bit restricted in some way because you want to get closer. But this is not the time to push. It tells you, allow the universe to help you at times. Sometimes we need to take a step back because we have already tried. We've done uh, what we need to do. Or working through a process and maybe moving on from someone. Closing that chapter. Starting anew. And I feel like that's part of what this um, is interesting. How, if I'm not mistaken, Venus, and if you know about astrology, Venus um, moving direct. And then um, Mercury moving a retrograde this on the same day or just the day after. Um those are uh, synchronicities that might happen because it's almost like you put your foot on the gas but put it, you have to slow down a bit because it's reflecting on the decisions that you have made and then allowing things to kind of um, unfold all right so that's going to be a reading i hope the messages did help out in some way tons of love lots of light to you tons of feeling vibes i wish you the best and you can always go to the website psychicclubhills.com to schedule something for you have a good one